Hey guys, it's Max here from Vivid Millions, and today I wanna to talk to you guys about Kobo, but before we get into that, first things first, if you guys have had your Amazon KDP account terminated or suspended, or you don't wanna use Amazon KDP, don't worry about a thing. There's such a huge world of opportunity out there for you guys, right? So if you had had your account terminated, I know that's a common thing with Amazon KDP, the KDP publishing business and process and model, although it's a fantastic model for publishing, for getting your books out there, for formatting, it just makes it easier. And Amazon is an amazing marketplace. It's an amazing search engine, but it's not the end of the world if you can't get on the KDP platform, right? So Kobo is a fantastic, fantastic uh, alternative for you guys, right? So Kobo, headquartered in Toronto in Canada, they focus on eBooks, audiobooks, tablets, the works right so another platform for you guys to be able to self-publish your ebooks whether you were really really focused on the kdp kindle book platform and you're wanting to slang all of your books on kdp but you were terminated for the sakes of maybe you were using plr books which i will talk about maybe you guys were trying to slang copyright and trademark material which i'm not going to talk about because i don't believe in uh trying to even get down that rabbit hole but one thing about Kobo, Kobo is also very reputable. It's also a very large platform. They've got over 6 million books on there, especially in the eBooks platform. Very easy to publish. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it end to end for beginners. So if you guys are writing your own eBooks, your own content, your own material, you can't use KDP or you don't wanna use KDP, I've got you covered. All right, so first things first, let's make a cup of coffee. Here I am making my, uh, I'm just, I decided to make a green tea instead rather than a coffee just because like it's uh, already uh, almost 12 o'clock in the day and I've already had two today. So let's try and get some green tea, get some uh, antioxidants in me. Um, first things first about Kobo, right? So with PLR books, I mentioned earlier, um, I do want to talk to you guys a bit about PLR books. So like KDP, Kobo also doesn't like PLR books. They'll most likely reject them just because PLR books, they know exactly what PLR books are. They're basically ebooks made up of consistent articles about the similar information. It will get repetitive. It's generally information that everyone has, even has access to these PLR books, and it's repeated information. So not a great customer experience. People that are trying to buy or read or part of the Kobo book reading scheme or the KDB Kindle read program, that's why Amazon and the likes of Kobo, Ingram Spark, and other publishers or publishing platforms they're not huge fans of PLR books. So guys, stay away from PLR books. What I'm gonna show you guys is how to publish your own ebook that you've written yourself. It's not a PLR book, it's your own content. So guys, stay tuned. This is great for beginners and great for anyone who's had their, like I said, Amazon account terminated. It does happen. Amazon's very, very stringent with their requirements. Once you're terminated, you're done. You can't set up another account. It's all over for you, but your business, brand, and financial freedom journey is not over, and that's what I'm telling you guys, right? Kobo is a fantastic alternative, and I'm giving you guys that alternative solution today. So let's jump into the computer. Let's get done. Let's load up a book. I'll show you guys how to do it end to end and how extremely easy it is, and just how exciting it is or relieving it is in the sense that you can still continue your uh, publishing journey today. <laughs> tea and ready to go let's crack into it so this is the home website right kobo.com pretty straightforward nothing too intricate or exciting about it now just one thing to note you don't actually have to create an account here that's creating an account to be a user or a customer of kobo whether that's for the ebooks the audiobooks kobo plus etc etc now you can see they are partnered with rakuten the japanese um, subsidiary so how it works is that you scroll down we can get rid of that We'll scroll down to the very bottom, keep going all the way to the bottom and you'll see the bottom bar, right? And you've got an opportunity called self-publish. Now this is what we wanna jump into, right? We wanna be a publisher. I wanna get my books onto Kobo, another platform where I can sell, generate some passive income. So let's jump in. So there's also affiliates. So if you're into the affiliate marketing side, I've got a video in the description below on my affiliate marketing for dummies. Basically you can sign up for an affiliate program with Kobo as well and sell any books, any tablets, anything that's for sale on Kobo, you can get a percentage of that sale. But anyway, today we're talking about publishing, guys. Jump to self-publish. Right, this is where you need to get started. Now, I already have an account. I've got a dummy account, so I'm just gonna sign in. But for the sake of this, guys, when you get started, signing up is extremely easy, right? As long as you have a genuine account, you've got genuine information like an email address, an address, maybe a contact number. They do a very, very mild and simplified verification process. Once you've done that, you're good to go. I'm gonna sign in. 
All right, so this is the dashboard, guys. So this is what it looks. Obviously, for March, I haven't published any books. This is a dummy count, but just to show you how it works, this is what you're looking at. You've got all your uh, top sellers, all your information. The dashboard's pretty straightforward. You can do sales by book and then sales by region, right? Now, you got your dashboard, you got ebooks, you got all the services, etc., etc. We're going to go into ebooks, right? Once you're in ebooks, because this is a ebook, a sole ebook uh, platform, guys. So you have to see this as it's not like KDP where you can publish notebooks and puzzle books and coloring books. This is strictly ebooks. Um, it is a, another platform for ebooks. There are other platforms out there like Gumroad, um, for example, Fire. You've got um, Payhip, I will go through those platforms and do end-to-end -end tutorials for them, but right now let's focus on Kobo because Pogo is, uh, Pogo, Kobo is a larger platform than the others. It's got more reach and it's more reputable, it's trusted, uh, it's really, really easy and functional to use. So create a new ebook. This is where we're jumping in, right? Four steps, right? You've completed zero, four steps, only four steps. So ebook title, for the sake of this, I've already got an ebook ready. Um, I just did a really, really generic book on affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing for uh, extensive guide. We'll call it extensive guide. Now the thing with this is that the title is your keywords. The title is whatever you want to call. There's all uh, call it. There's also the subtitle that you can add. I'm not going to here for the sake of this, but you can series name only if it's part of a series. Uh, we'll take out. And we'll just put in, for example, um, marketing guru, right, as the author. Once again, you can add multiple authors. You can do a publisher name. Um, you can, it's like a pen name. So similar to KDP, your author is your pen name. You can either put your own name or a pen name. The publishing name can be different or the same. It doesn't really matter. Is this the first time you're publishing your book? You'll say yes. Down here, you don't have to put in um, ESPN or primary ESPN. It's pretty good. Is this content part of the public domain? So for that, you can select yes if it's part of the public domain. If, for example, public domain is those books that are part of public domain. They're free to use, free commercial rights. You can select yes so that when it goes through the review process with Kobo, they pick that up instantly and they can say, okay, cool. It's not a copyright material. It's part of public domain, hence the nature of the ebook but if you select no it's your own written material great you do need to select categories so for this i would probably go into business and finance uh, marketing and sales so general um let's go direct marketing is there something for uh, i'm just just for the sake of this guys i'll just put sales and selling uh boom so you can actually pick more categories in kdp which is uh, quite nice as well so it kind of gives you a broader range um this is where you attempt to inform your potential readers um about your book so this is where you'd put like your description similar to amazon on any other platform you'd put something about your book so just for the sake of this i would put affiliate marketing um extensive extensive how-to guide i would obviously put a lot more information than this guys this is just for the sake of this tutorial maybe i'd put a little um split on uh what the chapters are of the affiliate marketing ebook what the chapters are what i cover um for example uh, it could be like uh, what websites affiliate uh you could do something like this um ebook covers below topics and you'd put something like um affiliate marketing programs strategies etc 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 you can put anything in here as you like once again you want to be as descriptive as you can put as much information in there as you can but you don't want to convolute it you don't want it to be too messy and too much information just make it real concise but enough information so people know what your ebook is about right all right let's go save and continue but first we're going to upload our cover now your cover can be created anywhere you will at this point know how to create covers because this is for people that are uh, maybe have been terminated from kdp and want to join a new platform or maybe this is your first time doing books ebooks in general but how it looks is that you want JPEG and PNG files. Now this can be done on Canva. I have done my Canva tutorial below guys. So please check it out if you don't know where to make covers. You can also jump on Fiverr to pay someone to make your cover for whatever your ebook is about. But if you are generally writing an ebook, you would have done some research around uh, selling ebooks or publishing books online. And you would know that, you know, a cover and what the pr cover process entails. But like I said, we've got, I've, I've actually added three links. It's one for Canva one for fiverr right so if you do want to pay someone to make your cover link down below as well um let's crack into it so upload a cover i've got a cover already ready to go it's a png just for the sake of this right so upload the new cover image 
that's real blurry because I haven't specced it as per this. It does actually come out nicer when it's done. Um, otherwise, I would actually do it as per the specs of this, right? So for example, that was a really small file. It was 125 by 125 pixels. Ideally, you'd want at least 2,000 by 2,000 pixels so the image is a lot clearer. But for the sake of this, let's continue. I've added my cover, right? So save and continue, right? So next steps. Here we go. So we're uploading our content. Here is my guide. So here we go. They support EPUB, doc, docs, mobile ODT. So I might not be able to upload. Yeah, so I have to do a docs format, which is totally fine. All right, guys, so they don't accept PDF. They need a docs. So what I've done is I've just converted my file from PDF to docs. So here we go. Here's my docs, so Word document essentially. And I think it's because it's how they um, obviously go through the verification process and how they verify it, how they format it, how they review it. They need it in a Word docs format and might go through a process automated by a bot. But here we go. Once that's done, my upload is complete. So let's go to the next step. So you should kind of wait for this to convert content. It says you can move on to another step and come back later to check on the status. But I have found that if you go next, sometimes it doesn't let you. But let's go next for the sake of this. As you can see, done. So it's done. You can see your ebook can be published, but we strongly recommend you fix these non-critical errors. It's pretty cool. They give you kind of like some uh, concerns that you can kind of go into them, but they're literally not that. It's like, for example, some weird attributes. Uh, if you've actually gone through the process of doing um, grammar checks and everything with your document, your ebook, making sure everything's formatted correctly, I kind of think that this is kind of irrelevant. It can still your book will still be published. For example, the packaging failure, one instance similar to wrong file extension for image. So yeah, maybe the image has the wrong uh, text or it's under the, like a format of the name that they don't like, but regardless, it's still gonna push through. I have never had issues with this. So this next one is set the license and geographic rights. So if you apply digital rights management, it basically just means that your book is uh, under the digital rights management under Kobo, right? You don't have to. You can also do geographic distribution rights. So you own the rights in all the territories it's distributed. Um, you can do that available for Kobo Plus subscription, meaning that it's available all over for Kobo Plus subscription, uh, subscription kind of similar to the KDP Red um, subscription as well so you pay monthly or you pay like a one subscription fee a month and you get unlimited access to just read and read and read anything you want rather than buying the book on its own you can do specific territories but i just say include everywhere it gives you a broader range i don't know why you would select specific territories maybe you're being uh, fussy to where what countries your book is being sold maybe it's culturally sensitive i don't know but include everywhere broaden your range, broaden your customer base. And then I always go available for libraries in Overdrive. And you must be at least, so this is where you put a price. So for this, I'd put $5.99. I'm just spitballing here, guys, right? So save and continue. That's for this page here. Now, this is the good price. This is the exciting part, as always, listing your price. So I'm gonna put in $5.99. Right, because it's an ebook, there's no printing costs, right? There's no printing costs, right? So look at this. You can always already see your royalty. So at five ninety nine, I get four nineteen U four dollars nineteen USD, which is pretty good. That's like seventy to eighty percent, um, very very high royalty because there's no printing costs. All Kobo takes is probably a tax and a uh, essentially like an administrative fee, right? Down here, it's got all your other regions where they sell or where it's listed. So I always change these to a round figure. I don't like seeing a um, $7.84, it just doesn't look professional, right? A round number like this makes it look professional. It looks like you've actually gone through and thought about it, you've updated your pricings rather than just doing the random. Even these uh, different currencies like rupees, $3.52, I just round it up, right? Um, it just looks better um, even in those lower currencies. So suggested was 668, it was 667. With this, I just round it up to 700, right? Just make it a nice round number. 1, 1, 12, 99, you just add that. So 182, 183, uh, with this Taiwanese, I'll just run up to 200. $8.99, in the land of New Zealand. Filipino pesos, once again, 399 is not a problem at all. This one here, I'll go down to 7.99. Then we've got uh, 5.99, then we've got $4.99 and then last one $22 for Turkish Liris. right that's all my pricing done as you can see it looks nice and uniform I can see my percentages so yeah it's like 70% 
Um, so 70% royalty is amazing, right? For especially for ebooks, ebooks are all raw, almost all royal, uh, all, all raw uh, royalty or profit, simply because there's no publishing costs involved. Whereas with Amazon, obviously, if you're doing notebooks or coloring books, there's printing costs and the royalties are very, very low. So a lot of opportunity to make a lot of, lot of uh, royalty on this. So if I was writing an ebook that was bigger than a, I don't know, like a 30 page or a 10 page or a 20 page ebook on affiliate marketing, or it could be a, I don't know, dogs for dummies and it's only like 20 pages or like a kid's book. Um, if I was writing like a really extensive ebook and it was between 100 and 300 pages long, man, you can pro you can put any price you want. You can put it as twenty dollars, thirty dollars, fifty dollars. There's no limit. There's a minimum, obviously, ninety nine cents, but there's no maximum. I could list a book for hundred dollars if I want, and I get seventy percent profit every time that sells. So, Kobo is incredible in that sense, right? So, save and continue. Um, when do I want to publish my ebook? Yeah, today. You can do, uh, you can push it out, for example. You can choose a date. For example, maybe you want it to go live next week, but I'm just going to say publish the ebook today. Right, that's done. It's going to go through a content review process, 24 to 72 hours, similar to Amazon. Now, with this, you just sit and wait. It sits in a holding pattern. So, publishing, it just sits in progress. As you can see, Marketing Guru, it's my new pen name uh, for this. So this is what we can see here. Now I'm going to delete this because that ebook is terrible and the cover is terrible, but you get the gist of it, how you load up an ebook in Kobo. Once this goes live, it's going to be low, live across Kobo in all of those regions where I did the pricing. So that's the exciting part, right? I've got so many customers that use Kobo every single day. We're talking millions of organic traffic that will most likely either read your pages or read or buy your book. And if you're making... If you're in a great niche, like making money online, or maybe it's, I don't know, uh, fitness uh, exercise programs, it could be something about weight loss, it just yeah, obviously things that people want every day to better their lives, right? Those are the most popular niches. Something that will make lives easier, make lives better, um, they are the best niches. So think about that, whether you are doing cookbooks or eBooks on uh, marketing, on business, on entrepreneurship, it could be on sports, fitness, it could be on religion, it could be anything, Kobo is your next platform, guys. So once again, I'll say it, Amazon KDP is not the only business model out there in the publishing world, right? You've got Kobo, I've got tutorials coming up on Ingram Spark and Barnes & Noble. Once again, two more amazing and huge power players in the industry, right? If you guys like this tutorial, please like, subscribe. Um, subscribing is free for you guys and it just shows me support and I'll keep making these videos. Like I said, I'm Max from Vivid Millions. My journey is zero to a million dollars as fast as I can, building businesses, brands, and starting income streams online, um, setting up passive income streams and seeing what works and what doesn't work, what's true, what's not true, what's genuine, what's not genuine. Um, at the end of the day, Money can't buy you happiness, but money can buy you things that make you happy. And that's why we want financial freedom. We want to have that stress, stressless life of having that passive income coming in. We set up these things up once and it just generates income. So guys, like I said, subscribe, like, stay tuned for the next one. Comment below what you want to see next and I'll look into it, right? Otherwise, I'm here for you guys. Please reach out if you need to have any questions, any help. Otherwise, over and out, stay tuned for the next one.